Audit logs in Google Cloud provide an immutable record of how resources and data are created, modified, and accessed. But knowing what's logged by default and what you have control over can be confusing. Let's walk through setting up and reading audit logs to understand what's really going on in your project. This is The Stack Doctor. Actions that touch Google Cloud resources or data within those resources create an audit trail. But where do you go to see that trail? You can start on the Activity tab of the home page of your project. This is a view of all of the audited events in your project, and you get more information about what happened for each event. Let's look at a specific example. We'll use Cloud Storage and look at both out-of-the-box audit logs and those you can enable yourself. Start by creating a Cloud Storage bucket with the name and default options. Feel free to delete this after you're done. Now, switch back to the Activity tab and refresh. Once the bucket has been created, you'll see a new event showing the resource that was created, the user who created it, and the timestamp of the event. You can also go to Logging in the GCP console and see the matching log entry. It's an activity log, and the type is set to audit log. That's pretty straightforward. You created a resource, and a log entry is written. However, if you try adding a file to your new bucket, you'll see that no additional activity or log entries are generated as a result. This is because operating on objects in buckets is interacting with user data, not creating or modifying resources themselves. To log these actions, we'll need to enable additional audit logging. You can find the audit logging configuration under the IAM and admin section of the products menu. This screen shows you the kinds of audit logs you can enable for GCP services. You should know that system event and admin activity audit logs are always enabled and cannot be turned off. There are three kinds of data access audit logs you can enable. Admin read logs are written when you access resource configuration or metadata. Data read logs are written when user data within a resource is accessed. And data write logs are written when data within a resource is created. Let's continue with our example to clarify. If you enable admin read audit logs and refresh the bucket view in the console, you'll see that a new event is written. This is a record of you accessing the resources and metadata and configuration. The actual log entry will show a call to the storage bucket's get API. If you enable data read audit logs and refresh the bucket, you'll see an event written for accessing resource data, logging a call to the storage object's list API. If you then retrieve a file from your storage bucket, you'll see another event created showing you accessing the resources data. The log entry shows a call to the storage objects get API. Finally, if you enable data write audit logs and create a new file in the bucket, you'll see an event for inserting data, logging a call to the storage objects create API. That was a lot. Let's review the kinds of audit logs you can enable and what actions they can actually record. You can turn on three kinds of audit logs. Admin read for reading metadata and configurations, data read for reading user data, and data write for creating or writing user data within resources. Because these are user controlled, they do incur logging charges in the same way as other logs in your project. System event and admin activity logs are always written, cannot be disabled, and therefore don't incur logging charges. Audit logging is invaluable as you work to keep your deployments in GCP secure and compliant. Knowing how to use audit logging to get a clear record of what happened in the project is essential to keeping your Google Cloud project secure. And I hope that this helps you to better understand how to do that. Thank you for joining me today, and come back soon for more. This is The Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there. <music>